We are underway at the Rock, and it will come out to the 25-yard line. A blitz off the edge. A three-man rush gets home, but Chris Reynolds is able to somehow escape. Lost the football on his way to the turf. He would have come up a couple of yards shy of the first down if he is ruled down, and the officials, I do believe, are going to say that he was ruled down against Georgia Southern, missed the following week as well. So in games where he actually is the quarterback all the way through, about 23-2, and two, and a wide-open receiver. Up the sideline, Thomas Hennigan makes the catch and sidesteps a tackler. There's a lot on their shoulders, starting with Pearson. And off to Marcus Williams. He's got a first down and more. Mountaineers in the red zone, first and 10 at the 11. Played a ton last year. Right up the middle, and the ball pops out. Charlotte gets exactly what they need. The 49ers get a takeaway, Tyler Murray. Just helmet right on the football. Watch Luca from the right side of the screen coming, but right there. When guys in the press box or when you're breaking down film or trying to identify players, it's very difficult. And there's a third down carry by Harbison, and he is in the clear all the way out close to midfield. Well, Chris Reynolds, he's going to line them up. Will they snap the football, or is this a hard count? And they get the penalty that they're looking for. George Blackstock, the nose tackle, jumped off sides. Option pitch, Dick Tucker. Down the sideline, close to a first down. Um, but I think it speaks volumes of the, the viewpoint of offensive people on defensive guys. The 11th play of the drive is a quarterback keeper and a first down run for Chris Reynolds. Red zone. Another handoff. And the C's part for Harbison. And Trey Harbison walks into the end zone with the game's first touchdown. See their families' faces before they take the field for their opener as Cam Peoples finds a lane to the sideline and starts off the second quarter with a big run for Appalachian State. Uh, averaging just over 231 yards rushing per game. Picked up five on first down. Another cutback. And Peoples picks up another first down. Inside the 39-yard line. Yeah, open, so to speak. Yeah, drifting there. That's his first incompletion. Uh, this is a perfect timing route to Malik Williams. Another first down. Oh, dance. Go. Peoples, a long strider and strides his way into the end zone for the App State touchdown. Well, it's only a three-man rush, so he's well protected. Right at the first down marker, turning upfield and picking up the first down is Malik Williams. Cool. A.D. Johnson, just to name a few. But one of the most important calls I think they had was one with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department and the district attorney. They were... And my players, I need to allow them to talk to me and learn from them. Zach Thomas off his back foot throws one to the sideline. Under throws Hennigan. Hennigan trying to work his way back to the football on Fees Lion. And he may have earned a pass interference flag. Now with the zone run game out of App State. Movement by the D-line and picking open gaps. Little zone read and on the keeper it's Zach Thomas. Just about gets to the goal line. Into the end zone goes Williams for the touchdown. Into the line. Nice stop and start for Harbison. And he's all the way out near midfield before he's finally cut down. And then... Play action for Reynolds. Well protected. To the sideline. Wide open. Inside the 30-yard line. Down the sideline. Is Taylor Thompson the true freshman tight end? Two. Down to one. Will they get the snap off? They do. Quarterback draw. Reynolds caught from behind and dragged down at the six-yard line by Nick Hampton. Always a tough angle as well. The closer you get with the college half mark, hash marks, 23 yards, but this one no problem. Jack Thomas inbounds. And now they'll hand it off on second down to Williams. And Williams, well, he picks up the first down. And that will stop the clock. And you seem go okay going into the half. Now they're going to go hurry up. And they will pick up a first down to Malik Williams. For seven or eight yards for a field goal attempt. Four-man rush. Thomas. Nice wall off to make the catch by Jalen Virgil. Zach Thomas is right. It'll be a four-man rush. Thomas, there's the shot towards the pylon. Underthrown a bit. Flag out. 
Did Thomas Hennigan earn pass interference? And now this becomes a very interesting decision as Lance McMillan looks like he got called in the end zone for pass interference. Again, push, push, push vertical, track the ball, and fight back for it. That's an outstanding job Time of out. fighting back for the football and making it an There's obvious some. call, right? Put your foot in the ground and go fight for it. And it's blocked. Charlotte's going to get the stop before halftime. And they will end the half with a blocked field goal and only a four-point lead. For Watch in the middle, right in the middle. Get that right paw up. Put back, Ron. Time will throw it into traffic. And it's tipped and intercepted. Picked off and heading back the other way, Appalachian State. Brendan Harrington, the outside linebacker. See Reynolds peak. Great job by Huff of getting that pass break up and then Harrington running to the football. Same formation. Play action. Thomas floats one over the middle and it's intercepted. Charlotte gets the stop on fourth down. Tyler Murray picked it off. He could have simply knocked it down. The pitch out. Try to turn the corner. McAllister gets down the sideline. That's a big play all the way out to the 30-yard line. All right. I mean, good friend of mine. <laughs> Five receiver screen. And that is very close to the first down, but the ball pops out. It's still loose. Right on the sideline. It is recovered by Trey Cobb, but was he out of bounds when he recovered the ball? That certainly looks like the ball was ripped out before the player was down. So this is a fumble. Boy, did that toe touch on the sideline before he made the recovery. The rolling on the field. The ball was recovered by the defense that was out of bounds. There's a forward fumble. The ball will be placed back at the spot of the fumble. The 40-yard line, it will remain Charlotte's ball. 59-yard punt return for a touchdown two years ago against Charlotte. And this time the punter is contacted. Connor Bowler went down. Here's Hannigan on the hop. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Return team number 28. But... First down. That's like a turnover. That's a free possession now for Charlotte. LeBlanc sounds like a raging Cajun. Should be scored a touchdown there, right? There's a slant. That's good for a first down. On second down and 12. To drilling in. 11th play of the drive. That ball's tipped and incomplete. Wet field. And this one he's got. App State playing with some tempo. Peoples again. Breaking a tackle, gets the first down the season. So both of those running backs returning this year. Good news for App State. Here's Peoples again. Into the secondary, he's got another first down. He's going to take his cut off at 60. Long throw. And wide open is Hennigan as a player slipped in the secondary for Charlotte. And Hennigan burns them for the touchdown. Consecutive Sun Belt titles, five straight bowl wins, 13 and one last season. All they do is win. Should make that a song. McAllister on the return. Bounces it outside. Breaks a tackle. He might go the distance. Touchdown. Aaron McAllister to the house. And just like that, it's a two-point game. Won't go down, McAllister. Great contact balance. Watch the side of your screen. Look at the head coach running with them. Beautiful finish. You see the sidelines electric. Talk about picking up your football team right now. ...and strong running back core. And Dan, as a person who's watching it, is that something that you see he's doing? He's doing a much better job, Larissa, here in these last couple of drives. That I've been impressed with McMillan and Lyon. Play action. Thomas, fluttering ball, but it falls in. And he's got a first down hookup to end the third quarter. At the plus 45-yard line, Bob Oshuzik, Dan Orlovsky, and Arisha Harris. Zach Thomas, another pitch and catch with Hennigan. Stiff arm, he's got the first down. Find the one-on-one -on -one there. Four-man rush. 
Thomas under some pressure. Now out of the pocket, he might run. Inside the 30. Tripped up right at the first down line to gain, and he has the first down. Harrington goes away from the block of Henry Pierce. Going up to the linebackers. Let's go zone motion run game. Harrington right up the middle into the end zone for the touchdown. And the question is, can Charlotte get a stop? They've got field position on their side. A fumble. Losing the football was Cam. Peoples, he coughs it up. And a takeaway for Charlotte. Watch Murray right here. Right over the top. That right arm jumps on top. Strength to pull it away. Only a three-man rush. Really a two-man rush. And still the pocket collapses. It's a jump ball in the end zone. Tipped. And on the carol almost caught by Aaron McAllister. Controlled pass. Bouncing it outside Williams. He's got the first down. And he is going to try, I'm sure, to stay inbounds. And does. Behind. Marcus Williams. He might have pulled a hamstring. He goes down at the 24-yard line. Me. Patrick Harrington, first down and more. He'll go to the end zone. Icing on the cake for the Mountaineers. That's a Harrington touchdown. You know, they take a seam shot, and it's an interception. And now it will be victory formation for the Mountaineers as Caden Smith Gets the pick of Chris Reynolds. Reynolds got to be aggressive there, and it just wasn't their day for Charlotte in the second half. So Zach Thomas takes a knee, and that will do it. Appalachian State starts their season with a win.